This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. All right, so we're talking about Boosie. Him and Young Blue are going back and forth with each other. Now, Young Blue has recently switched over to country music because he cannot sell his album, Jeremy, in R&B. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why. Okay. I, I don't, I don't, I'm not a big Young Blue fan, but, you know, his fan base would have to tell you why. Couldn't even stream that many uh, streams with Lil Wayne. Shot a music video in Dubai that probably cost more to shoot the music video, video than he actually made on the video. It's crazy. So Boosie made fun of this, but then he got backlash. Him and Vlad made fun of it. He says, don't get mad at me because you ain't booked every weekend across the country like your CEO. Do you even have shows? You stop your tour because you couldn't sell out the theaters. Um, did I stop your video now, uh, your tour? Now you mad because nobody want to hear your music anymore. They want you to pay up and do what's right. <laughs> Meaning pay him, right? That's not what people want. You miserable. You don't know if you want to be a rapper, R&B, country, rock and roll artist. True. You stole my money and you went down on your first home. You stole my money. Oh, you stole my money and went, uh, put it down on your first home squatting so we come and move in next week uh since we squatting in uh my hour ish she's talking about like that's both of their houses and you want to bring up kids really maybe my kids can come over and help your your son uh count to five wipe them them slob off your floor uh before you fall down and hurt yourself savage Young Blue, now, now with Young Blue, right? I'm gonna say, man. Uh, I don't think Boozy's the easy, easiest person to work for or have a business partnership with, but you should have done right. You should. I, I think he did try to make it right. You know, this is a weird situation. That's all I could say. It says. So Young Blue says, Boosie got my nuts in his mouth every interview. He's obsessed. I dropped a rap album with one week promo. You can't have excuses like that. I dropped a rap album with one week promo and no singles. You know, it's like there's no excuses. Every album should be treated seriously, especially when you're at Young Blue's level. You know? Uh, then he says, and only reason I did it is because I wasted energy talking about your ass because nobody wanted to hear that ish. You know what my R&B projects do. My one R&B single confirmation outsold your whole album, 15 million streams, no radio. What you did on your album, 500? I'm not arguing with a guy uh, barely get booked in 100 miles out of Mississippi. You're a lame. You better hope storm. Don't come and knock them cheap ass paper thin condos in your backyard with your kids. Don't want to live on your plantation by a house, boy. Yeah, Young Blue should stop because Boosie's actually, I'm, I'm, like, all jokes aside of business, Boosie will actually knock you out, bro. Like, Boosie's actually built like that. You're not, okay? We can joke about Boosie all we want, right? Can clown him, say he's funny, say he's crazy. But there's one thing he is. He's really what he is in his music. That's a fact, okay? And you should pipe down, Young Blue. He knows where you live. Everybody knows where you live. It's on the internet, okay? Anyways, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button. I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.